I don't know how this vlog is going to go, but it should be a nice, oh there's the back of my outfit, <laughs> it should be a nice summery one, I'm meeting up with George to do a social distancing photo shoot, <laughs> so um, yeah this is my outfit, you can see in the mirror. Oh, when we want to focus. I'm still unsure about these shorts. We'll w roll with it. And yeah, it's like boiling today. But that's not going to stop us to get some Instagrams. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you in a bit when I'm with George. Oh, I realise I'm going to look naked for half these shots. It's a different setting. I still look naked. I've realised that when I, if I hold it like here, you can't see my top. Oh, you can't see the scraps <laughs> No, promise. I've got a top on. Look who's here! Hi. She's back! Oh my God, I, I don't even know. It was probably the not the last vlog, not the last video, but the oh, you didn't even go to the. I was gonna say the last uh, boy band tour thing, but you didn't even go to that, did you? Literally just sat in this little cute. I was gonna say alleyway. It's not an alleyway. It's like an alleyway of trees. Oh. Look at that metaphor. <laughs> um, but we're probably going to move in a minute because the flies are loving us. Um, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to move and then I'll probably vlog a bit later. We might take some photos. We're just chilling, catching up. You don't want to know what we're gossiping about. It's boring, clearly. Nothing bad, nothing bad. All good things, all good things. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you later. We will catch you later, actually. I've forgotten how to vlog, haven't I? And welcome to day one of mine and George's adventure. She's over here. We don't know where we're going. We've walked under the motorway bridge, round the other side of it. But the motorway bridge would be nice if it had nice artwork that was graffiti but it's not someone just drew a penis on it <laughs> oh i see someone we're still saying two meters apart don't worry mum don't worry yeah, family and, uh, Jesus, we, are very safe. we are but we just don't know where we are to be fair it looks like a good old jonathan sacconi jerry dog walk experience oh, oh God. <laughs> i'm gonna end up like spraining my ankle Vlogging and walking on an uneven surface isn't one of my fortes. Should we go through there? Yes. That's to that field in front. Is it? I swear. Adventures with Steph and George. Oh, this is this would be cute if it had running water. It reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. What is the point of this gate? Can we just talk about this? Oh, this is like. This is like a proper footpath. Wow. Oh, this is like onto a new estate, but I don't know where. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's gravel and I can't even walk. Wow. Right. We'll catch you in a bit when we've either got lost or found out where we are. <laughs> so basically, we walked miles. And um, we walked in a massive loop. We did. We've ended up back at square one. Well, kind of square. The same, the same park, different field. <laughs> um, that, sh that sounds like it should be a book or something. Or a song. <laughs> same park. The same park, different field. <laughs> or like a metaphor for something, I don't know. Poetry, an emotion and <laughs> poetry. Really. An emotion and poem by Steffi Kane. Mm -hmm. Same park. <laughs> <laughs> the grass is greener on this part of the park. <laughs> the sun is shining brighter. <laughs> I'm like an audio book now. <laughs> We're on different journeys. But you, this. you would have quite a good audio book boy. Do you think so? But mm. I just can't read. <laughs> and I oh. and I like like I might have the tone, but I don't think I was the attention span either to stand there and record the same Unless it, it was like a good book, like, actually I don't know, I don't really read. I don't know, <laughs> when was the last time you picked a book? Um, I'm writing a book. I've said this too much now on my channel, I said it in my last video too. Have you described what the book's about? No, because I think it's weird. 
That's not that weird, but it's basically based in Torquay. If you don't know where it is, go to it. It's nice. <laughs> good see. Very impressive. You like going to it. <laughs> it's a good seaside town. You won't regret it. Oh, also, I really hope this wind isn't like ruining the mic. We're still sat apart. Don't worry. Um, we've gone through many different variations of topics, holidays to lads, 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 lads. <laughs> Um, yeah, nights out, just everything and anything. Proper girly chats is what we yeah. love. We haven't took any photos yet. I tried to make a daisy chain, didn't work. I'm not artistic enough yet. <laughs> yeah. There's no nice places to take photos. Like there is here. no nice places here and it hurts my soul. I'm going to move to Brighton. It's the next day, or we'll pretend it is. And <laughs> basically, the vlog that I filmed with George wasn't long enough to just be a vlog on its own. So I thought I would do a little haul for you. If you're not interested, you can skip this bit. There'll be more. This vlog's gonna be very jumbled. We'll see how this goes. I'll start with what I'm wearing. Obviously, these glasses, spec savers. I have the worst vision ever. <laughs> People who have tried on my glasses before will know. Um, I then have this little necklace, I don't know if you can see it, it has a Mickey with a little gem in it and an S because my name is Steph. <laughs> um, so I got this as a gift from Shannon, that's my brother's carer, I'm not sure where she got it from but I'll leave a link in the description if I can find anything similar or the exact one. I have my Fitbit on because, you know, I'm so sporty. I've also painted my nails. These are the Essie, is it Essie? Um, in Looks to Thrill. So it's kind of like a orangey corally shade, which is nice. I thought it would match. I didn't actually match it with my top, believe it or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, this top has got stripes on the side it's like an adidas kind of vibe i can tell you the label came off so i have no idea where it's from unless it says on oh it's from new look it's from new look <laughs> um i remember just buying this just because i needed a plain top to just chuck on and then i've got these shorts on they're they're like high on the leg this is the camera is so tall they're high on the leg um so they have like a curved shape to them. I bought these from Pretty Little Thing. I haven't worn them that much, but they're definitely, they're very comfy. The waist is quite elasticated, which is always good. That's my outfit of today. And we'll get on to the, I'll do, I might do Pretty Little Thing first, just because I'm already wearing Pretty Little Thing shorts. And then I'll go to Shein afterwards. One outfit is in the wash. I just literally put it in the wash today so I could post some pictures or send you over to my Instagram <laughs> and you can find the outfit there but let's get to it. So I haven't changed my shorts but this top it's very silky it's a square neck as you can see I actually really love the fit and I love the colour like it's so bright I never wear, never really wear red but I feel like I should wear red more often it's just plain and i really like it i think it suits my body shape well and yeah it's just nice and simple but looks nice i like it clearly i was going with a theme with this shop so this is literally the same top but in white i think it's a bit shorter maybe it's just me i don't know but this one is a bit see-through so sorry if you can see my bra but what can you do <laughs> yeah again i really love these uh, square neck ones like i don't i always get weary about it because it's just like a very low cut but i quite like it i think it looks nice and that's just my door closing because the the window's open so <laughs> somebody's not trying to get in <laughs> but yeah i really like this just plain simple I need to get more simple tops because some of the tops that I have are very wild and then I'm like, oh, I have nothing to pair it with. I've also realised that another outfit I brought from a sheet in is in the wash. 
I really wasn't prepared for this haul so I'm just going to show you the Pretty Little Thing stuff if that's okay. Let me just show you the last thing from Pretty Little Thing and then we'll get on to another thing. I moved this down. I don't know how to feel. Sorry I'm wearing such dark underwear. Oh, I really didn't plan this. I look like I'm going to play tennis. Wimbledon, here I come. So, I'm sorry about the underwear situation. <laughs> It'd be more scary if I wasn't wearing any. That was my little mini haul. I hope you liked it. To be honest, I have no idea what else I'm going to show you. So this could be a little bit and then it'll go on something else. Hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog and give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already because... I don't know what's coming. <laughs> I don't know how this angle is going to go, but we'll just go through it and I'll add it onto this vlog. Hope you enjoy. I'll go through and explain some of the pages. I will just flick through some of them. Hopefully you can see everything. I apologise if like this little corner at the top is cut off. This starts off in 2018. <laughs> um, I had a disposable camera and these were just some of the photos that I got. <laughs> Katie's face in this one makes me laugh. There's loads like Liverpool the Pop Hits tour. There's just loads of uh, digital, digital? Disposable camera photos. <laughs> this is where I literally just clicked it. I clearly didn't tell people I was <laughs> doing it. Obviously Jack and Red Bull, that clearly worked. <laughs> See, there's just loads, there's just loads of Maisie. That didn't really work. <laughs> Not with Millie, oh, I miss Millie a lot. These are just uh, birthday cards. I don't know why I'm opening this so slowly. It's hard to open. Um, For my 18th, that was last year. Oh no, it wasn't, it was the year before. <laughs> oh God, I'm so old. Um, This is like a little page from Katie, because as you can see, she writes a lot in cards and that was like taken years ago that was at ripley's in london it's now like not open it's weird it closed up really weirdly over atlantic some childcare college friends year one i love them all miss them all we're still in a group chat together and we still talk occasionally just sharing memories that pop back up um college year one i could have added a few more people to this <laughs> but um i made it like right at the start this is our dogs trust page little i can't remember i think this one's lollipop or is it honey oh it's honey the first dog that i sponsored was called shane i actually went to visit him he was in a london dogs trust and sadly he passed away so we had honey i think we've had lollipop too and i think honey's the most recent one she's really cute this page is just a random page. I put a photo of Jack that I had because <laughs> I thought he looked attractive. And that's Danny Boyle. He's lovely. He was. New Year's Eve, my 18th birthday. I went to Katie's. She did a party for me, which is so nice of her. That's my twin brother, Tom. He's obviously 18 then too. And yep, our birthday is on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Um, Summer in City and the Vibers Tour 2019. I actually really like these pages. Yes, as you can see, I'm not a professional. <laughs> I did put 2019 because I think I was doing that there and I got so confused because actually that was 2018. They're so lovely, very weird, but so lovely. <laughs> United Vibe, they've sadly, <laughs> I nearly said passed away, <laughs> they haven't died, um, they broke up. Madame Tussauds with Katie and then I met, we met up with Joe. we were like best friends in high school. Alton Tower Scarefest 2018, I think Emily had the best costume, she went as like Harry Potter slash Hermione, um, I said slash because she said Harry Potter for the whole day, so I just went. I was trying to be a scarecrow, but I kind of turned into a farmer. And then Katie was a cat. Skegness, Butlins, and Lil Arch, just like family bits. Then <laughs> just a page about Jack, really. When we FaceTimed once, that was nice. But oh, the recording didn't have any sound, which is so annoying. Um, the 2016 to 2018, I could have done 2019, but obviously I made this before I last saw him. A nice meet and greet photo that I like, where they're all kind of looking, apart from Mikey. Thanks, Mikey. J 
just a page about Katie really. <laughs> I put that one there and then I had a HB sprocket and put some <laughs> weird and wonderful photos of us. This is the page I don't really like. That's really trippy. Like it's from the chocolate frog. And I just added some stars because I'm an artist. <laughs> This page is literally a mess. <laughs> I had Shawn Mendes um, tickets on there and Oli Mers tickets. And then I just put like Adventure Golf in like a, a photo booth of me and George. I actually love photo booths. I'm not really a fan of this page. I've got a Shawn Mendes pick from his perfume. <laughs> Clearly I lost interest in, oh my finger just got stuck, in putting more music notes around here, but never mind. This background I love. I spent so long doing it. I even looked on Pinterest for nice backgrounds. So when I met Joan Casper, I got like it signed because obviously I met them. Um, and I've got like three copies of this. <laughs> These pages are just like things that I had on my wall. <laughs> Clearly JLS. Um, I, I hate that Arishes is like that. No offense, Arishé. But like these, it doesn't match with them. It's like he wasn't there for the shoot and they just had to put in like an extra photo that you look nice in, I guess. Oh, I don't like these pages. I'm sorry about these. <laughs> Here's a photo of me looking really awkward on a broomstick. Let me show you. <laughs> if I can zoom in. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> my HB sprocket saved this page a little bit. I very poorly sellotape this down. It's like the video of me on the broomstick and a little Harry Potter key, not key ring, memory stick, which is quite nice. Oh, here's Shane. Shane was the first dog we sponsored. He was so cute. Yeah. Gifts from my little sister. Um, to Steph, love Charlotte. I just, a little thank you card. Uh, yes, I drew that flower. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see it. And then, Merry Christmas. Oh, it's just so cute. Um, I got these two signed in a competition. When I got them signed, I was in Mikey's Lane. So that's why it says, two Steph, love you so much, babe. Fun fact, Jack was about to hold my hand in this photo. Andy looks terrified, but I was like here. You'll see on Andy's one, I was here. That's an awful side profile. <laughs> Uh, these are all my old Polaroids that were on my wall because obviously I didn't want to chuck them away So I just made a few Polaroid pages. There's a few of these. These are like old school friends The hometown squad as we like to call ourselves and Just a few other people. This is hometown an Irish boy band that I used to like Can you guess who my favorite is? I'll give you three seconds. It was him <laughs> This is just a whole bunch of different people. Oh, I met Alfie Days. That's like the worst photo I've ever gotten with a celebrity. Picture of Arch, me and my cousins. Just a whole bunch of people. It's Harvey. I, I printed that off and then realised he's not even looking. Like, he's not ready at all. This page was never going to look good, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was going to be really cute. It was like a holiday themed page. United Vibe London show. This was actually so nice. Such a good show. Oh, I didn't finish colouring these in. <laughs> I think I thought I'll just leave them white, but... Oh, that one failed. I tried to do it in pen first. Big mistake. Never do it in pen if you can't draw. This was meant to be a short segment, but Jesus, sorry. Um, United Vibe Leaves with Katie. This was so spontaneous. She literally messaged me on like a Wednesday and the gig was on Saturday and she was like, do you want to go Leeds, United Vibe? They've got meet and greet left. Oh no, they had VIP left. So we just went. <laughs> Summer in City, 2019 with George and Maisie. This was so nice. I actually really liked this day, despite how like, I got really, really overwhelmed in it. I'm sorry guys. I kind of ruined it, but yeah, and Maisie did. Oh, I hope I wasn't in that whole shot of my big head. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me to death. <laughs> but yeah, the train ticket, Joe, Adam, road trip, Lee. I think we met a few more people, but I'm not sure. Maybe we didn't. Uh, Kensington Beach Holiday Park with Katie. This, I love this page. It's such a holiday 
kind of kind of messy um page and we went to africa alive which was which was a zoo disneyland paris day one <laughs> Wee. um festival the lion king i know it's a bit messy but i kind of like it oh oh okay i didn't want to do any more than that okay it wasn't day one it was just a mixture um, end of road trip, <laughs> bit dramatic stuff, but never mind. Just some songs, their names, and then these were the last photos I got with each member. Oh, apart from Andy, I didn't meet Andy that day. Sorry, Andy. Scarefest, <laughs> um, 2019. This is really funny. This I was now with Emily and George. It took me so long to <laughs> do these because I'm not an artist. That was really fun. I loved that day. United Vibe, the Progression Tour. Just some cute photos, I really like that. Summer and City Winter Edition. We met a few more people. We kind of meet the same people each year because we like them. Um, oh, day two, because we went for the weekend. That was actually really good. I really liked Winter in the City. I wish they had more things to do though because we kind of ran out of things to do on day two. The Escape Room, some of my college friends here. I do love this page. It took me ages. We left with 30 seconds to spare. That's how we made it. And like there was a clock in the room and all different types of things. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Another Polaroid page, mainly of road trip. Butlins. I went Butlins again with my family. Well, my dad's side of the family. I said bogeys because Dick and Dom were there. If you don't know who Dick and Dom are, like, what were you doing? They were great. And lastly, a, another Polaroid page. And that's my book. Collect moments, not things. I definitely have collected a lot of things. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed my scrapbook thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see my other scrapbook which is a lot older let me know in the comments or on social media and i'll film another one for you thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon bye <laughs>